Hey folks, Lake Speed Jr. here from Total Seal Piston Rings. Oh, my good buddy, Ed Keebler from Rotland Manufacturing. All right, so we've been on a project today working for Jake Raby and Charles Navarro. You recognize these Nikki's air cool cylinders. Well, these really shouldn't be called Nikki's, should no, they, Ed? No, they shouldn't. Because there is no Nikki seal on no. these. These are Sumabore air cooled cylinders. If you've been following along this whole Sumabore journey with LN Engineering and myself and Jake, and you know, you know that. My car, the Wombat, actually is an N96 engine that has Sumabore in the cylinders. What you may not know is that there's different formulas of Sumabore, different metallurgy they can spray in to create that plasma spray bore. Mm -hmm. So the Wombat is one formula. These are a different formula. And Ed's been working his butt off all day honing these. It's a very unique process, isn't it, Ed, yes. with these yep. cylinders. Yep. Talk a little bit about what this process is for honing this cylinder and how that's different than what you would do for a Nicosil or a normal cast iron cylinder. Normal cast iron cylinder. Well, the Sumi bore is a very, when you spray that in, it creates a bunch of pores mm -hmm. which hold the oil. So we're really not looking for a, a big crosshatch angle or deep, deep uh, grooves or anything or alleys in these particular cylinders. We're looking for a super fine finish mm -hmm. for the cylinder rings to run up and down in. And the porosity in that process or in that material mm -hmm. is going to hold the oil for. So, right. you know, when we're normally doing something, we might use a 170 followed with a 600 grit. Right. With these, we're going, we're taking a roughing diamond and we're roughing the, they're very rough cylinders when mm -hmm. they when they come out of the process. So right. we have to straighten them and round them up and clean them right. up. Right. And so we'll use a 325, 400 grit diamond to do that. Took uh, four. Which that, for a cast iron cylinder, could be your actual final brace in Absol some cases. Yes, absolutely. And this, you're beginning with That's that. your beginning brace. Abrasive. That's your roughing abrasive. Well, we right. Term, roughing <laughs> yeah. abrasive for sumi bore. Right. The process. Then you move to 600, and we go on to 600. Take a couple thousands out with that, and then we finish up with a 1200 grit diamond. Ooh, that is smooth. It's smooth. Yeah. It is yeah. pretty too. These they are pretty are cylinders, nice. aren't they? Oh, they're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, great craftsmanship. Oh, absolutely, work of art. And the cylinder finishes there to go along with it. Yes, sir. So we'll yep. send these back, and they're going to do some analysis on it to make sure yep. that this is the right finish we want. Yep. Then we're going to make some more cylinders, all that same process. Then we're going to have some more water cooled, and some more air cooled cylinders with this second iteration, second formula of Sumo Borkers. We're continuing this process. I mean, right now yep. the old wombat, man, she's running. Good. She's running good with uh, formula number one. So we're just continuing that research and development to try to perfect this combination. Yep. Because. Uh, it really is a better surface. Oh, I, I don't think there's any doubt. I mean, you and I took a bunch of uh, uh, readings, mm -hmm. you know, a profilometer, and the Abbott Firestone curve mm -hmm. is to absolutely die for. I, I've never seen an <laughs> oh, yeah. Ab Abbott Firestone curve that would be better than that. I just don't see those cylinders wearing out. Yeah, I mean, it's, when we even had the engine and the Wombat down for a check at 5,000 miles, yeah. I mean, they no look wear. brand new. No, yeah. no, 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 no screech, no scratches. No. Nothing looked like brand new, nowhere. Yeah. It was amazing. We basically cleaned up, put it back together. Yeah, and I can understand that after looking at those Abbott Firestone curves. Yeah, they're, they're it, amazing. It is pretty cool stuff. So, hopefully, a little insight into what's going on on the R&D project, trying to prove it out. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.